while Prince Harry and Meghan Markle travelled to Europe for the Invictus Games this weekend, comedians in their new home country jabbed them about their move to the US. On the weekend update segment of Saturday Night Live on April 16, Colin Jost and Michael Che joked about Elon Musk's ongoing potential takeover of Twitter. Jost alluded to Meghan and Harry while questioning why the Tesla and SpaceX founder would bother trying to purchase the social network. Come on, Elon built electric cars, Jost said. He's going to Mars. Why is he even involving himself with Twitter? It would be like if the Prince of England gave it all up just to marry an actor from Suits. Jost concluded the bit with a self-deprecating joke about his purchase of a decommissioned Staten Island ferry along with Pete Davidson. Twitter's not even profitable anymore, Jost said. It just feels like a bad business decision. And I say that as someone who just bought a ferry with Pete. This isn't the first time the Montecito, California-based couple have found themselves in Saturday Night Live's crosshairs. But it does appear to be the first time Meghan has been the butt of the joke. A weekend update segment shortly after their televised wedding took aim at the couple in 2018. But this time, Harry was the butt of the joke. This weekend, Suits actress Meghan Markle married some unemployed dude who still lives with his grandma, Che said in the segment. More recently, Daniel Kaluuya alluded to a controversial revelation from Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey when he hosted the show in April 2021. Let me reassure you that I am black, Kaluuya said in his SNL monologue. I'm black and I'm British. Basically I am what the royal family was worried the baby would look like. In Meghan and Harry's Oprah interview, they said a member of the royal family had expressed concerns about what their future children's skin tones would be. Just before the remarks, Harry and Meghan made headlines for briefly visiting Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, as a couple for the first time since their royal duties ended two years ago. From there, they travelled to The Hague, Netherlands, for the Invictus Games, a biannual sporting event for veterans that Prince Harry co-founded. Earlier this month, British journalist Celia Walden opined that Americans are no longer protective of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but the most recent polls show that Harry and Meghan are still popular in the US. In the UK, though, they are more controversial. Polling numbers show Prince Harry's popularity has gone down 35 percentage points in the UK since he married Meghan. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex should not come to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations to stop the endless speculation around the event, a royal expert has claimed. Richard Eden, diary editor at the Daily Mail, says that they should just stay away. I really get the impression that Harry and Meghan are loving all the speculation about whether they'll come for the Jubilee or not. What should be the wonderful celebrations of the Queen's amazing long reign, instead it's sort of become this saga or will they won't they come? Who cares? Just stay away, honestly, he tells our royal talk show Palace Confidential. They want us to indulge in this speculation as long as possible. Prince Harry has built up such a wall of resentment and hatred against these people, I suspect it will always be a stumbling block when it comes to repairing his relationships with family members, she says. Because he has such a great distrust and dislike for the people around them.